I hate every single era of MMA. I've never seen an era that I like. Let me tell you what I mean. Just on recent memory, you guys will recall the era when every post-fight interview was, I will fight whoever they want me to fight. The single worst answer you could possibly give, while the message there is, I have the courage and I'm not scared to fight anybody, the words were, I don't care who I fight. If you don't care who you fight, how can I, the fan, possibly care who you fight? And we went through this, where everybody that got a microphone put in their face gave, gave the same answer. And it was just boring because everybody was saying the same answer. And the wrong answer on top of that, but it was still the same. There's nothing to see here. Then we went through possibly my least favorite era ever, which was the money fight era. I only want money fight. I don't care who I fight. I don't care about championship fights. I don't care about main event. I want the money fight. You got to pay me. You got to pay me. Get this. Ah, Jiminy Christmas. Stop. If everybody else on the card is saying it and everybody on the card the week before said it and everybody in every interview leading up to every card before said, don't say it. There's nothing to see here. You just blend it in and it's so boring and dull. So now we are in the call-out era. Now I will tell you, as the guy who created the call-out era, I thought this is exactly what I wanted. I thought, oh my God, I can't wait until the call-out era. Until guys figure it out, don't say money fight. Don't say any fight. Say a specific fight. I finally got what I wanted. What I helped to build, to pat myself on the back. What I helped, I hate it. I hate it because it's missing elements when the guys are doing it. I was in the third grade, true story, Miss Stafford's class. She went up on the chalkboard. And she told us the five W's to a story. I did not know what it meant at nine years old. I just took it with me through life. It took me later in life to realize the message. Who, what, when, why, and where. I'm fine with the call out. I'm fine with hearing a name. But I do not have a story. If you don't tell me, particularly in this case, the why. Do not just give me a name. I got to know why. All promotion is, is storytelling. I will hear fighters say, they don't promote me. I'm underpromoted. They don't like me. I don't look this way. I don't fit this mold. I don't speak this language. I'm not who they're looking for and they're not promoting me. What the hell does that mean? I beg you to tell me. I know what the answer is. I'm testing you. What does that mean? Are you not promoted if you weren't put on enough billboards, if you weren't put on enough marquees, if you weren't given enough title fights, if they didn't make countdown shows about you? Is Scott Coker or Dana White didn't sing your praises to the media? Is that what that means? Because I think you think it does. Allow me to stop you. All promotion means is storytelling. So promoters get together in a form of an experiment. They think they have a good story to tell. So they go out and try to tell it. Sometimes they think they're going to hit a grand slam and it falls completely flat. Sometimes they think, well, I don't really have too much of a story here, but let me tell the one that I got. And it's a home run. It's an experiment. You never know. But all promotion is, is storytelling. It is not the cover of magazines. Mrs. Stafford told our third grade class when I was nine years old, who, what, when, why, and where. She told us, if you do not include those five things, you do not have a story. To go out and call somebody out without a why doesn't work. You could halfway manufacture it. Rashad Evans was getting ready to fight Tiago Silva. Rashad Evans called Tiago Silva. This is the simplest, the simplest story you're ever going to hear. In promotion, Rashad called out Tiago. Rashad had fought one of Tiago's teammates. Tiago saw Rashad backstage after that fight and looked at him. Gave him that look. Of oh, that wanted to have been me. I don't like what you did to my teammate, and I'm coming after you. Rashad told that story that sold out an arena and was a main event, and he got the fight. It was true. It happened. 
We all know what that meant too, by the way. We've all given somebody that look before. We've all been given that look where it's like, ooh, that guy's got, guy's either got eyeball problems or he's got a problem with me. But he told the why. It was not a title fight. It was not a contender's fight. And they main evented a card and sold out an arena. You must have the why. When you don't come out and tell me what it is, I am smart enough to know what it is. I will see through it every time. When you call out Conor McGregor and you don't have a problem with Conor and you didn't have an altercation with Conor and there's no title on the line and it's not going to lead you to a chance, we all know why. You want a big payday, which is really great. But the fans have an evil side where they want you to sacrifice and they want you to entertain them. And they will tell anybody who will listen on their social media and on the underground forum that they want the fighters paid more, but by God, they don't mean it. They want you to continue to struggle. They don't want to see you get your dreams, and they definitely don't want to see you get a multi-million dollar payday. They just don't. So when you don't include a what, just to use Connor as an example, because he is the number one guy being called out right now. You got to have a why. You got to have some kind of a why. And for anybody else. And I wouldn't leave the thinking up to the fighters because they're not good at it. But even a third grade class in Wilsonville, Oregon learned the five W's. We are storytelling here. Tell me a story I can get behind. Rashad sold out an arena. When is the last time you guys have even seen a main event that wasn't for a title? When is the last time you've seen a main event that didn't involve a champion, a former champion, make it a number one contenders match? Possibly you have to go back to that fight. It was a very good lesson. Tiago gave Rashad a look. It was backstage. Rashad told the story. People got it. 